For those familiar with the Avigilon H3 web interface, this is going to look very similar on the H4, but they have made a couple of changes. So first things first, under image and display, it's now been split into two menus instead of just one. On the first, we have our zoom and focus. Actually, on both, we have zoom and focus. On this one, we have day, night, and exposure settings, uh, as well as uh, our WDR and or backlight compensation settings. Uh, we can see down here, and under adjustments, uh, now they've moved saturation, brightness, sharpness, contrast, white balance, that sort of thing uh, to a second page on its own. So it used to be combined on one, now they've separated it out. Uh, another thing that they've changed here is the real-time display of exposure and gain now in also includes uh, the current iris setting as well as the last known light level, which is exposure value. Uh, it's more of a photography term. Uh, most people in surveillance aren't really familiar with it. It's basically a calculation based on all these other settings. So uh, we can see that the f-stop changes if we zoom. So here if we zoom in, we'll see it go up. We'll see our gain change. If we were to turn the lights off, we'd see exposure change. We actually have a full report on this, so I'm not going to demonstrate too much here. So uh, do have some extra parameters here uh, shown. The next notable thing is under compression and image rate, we now have idle scene mode. So what this allows us to do is to create uh, our idle scene settings, which is when there's no motion in the scene. Uh, and compression and image rate, the base settings are for when there is motion in the scene, uh, when somebody's walking through, objects are moving, etc. So um, when it is idle, after whatever delay we set here, in this case it says post motion delay 5 seconds, that is default, uh, it'll switch to these settings. So we can change frame rate, quality, bit rate, and keyframe interval. This actually defaults to uh, keyframe interval, we'll just load these up, keyframe interval of 4 and 1 frame per second. So it defaults on both of the cameras we've tested, the 8 meg, 4K, and the 5 meg. Depending on what we do here, this could save substantial bandwidth. Obviously, by default, uh, this is going to be 30 frames with a uh, 1 second iframe interval. Here, we're going to be switching all the way down to 1 frame. So that's going to end up being a 4 second iframe interval. So our bandwidth is going to drop significantly. We haven't included in-depth testing of this in the report just because there are so many settings we can do. We could take it a look at it uh, in future reports possibly, but these are where we find our idle scene mode settings. So other than these three uh, changes, the rest of the web interface is pretty much unchanged if you're used to the H3.